The fire department totally pulled together. Upon learning that I had uh, AML leukemia, they were totally staunchly supportive of me. They would call me and they would ask me, what can we do for you? Can we go to your house and do anything for you? I'd be like, no, go to Be The Match, go to Blood and Bone Marrow, donate platelets, donate blood. I mean, these guys, they went to bat for me. It's like a family. They would, they'll do anything for you. It bring tears to your eyes to see it. When I see my donor on Saturday, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna thank him for saving my life. Neil, are you ready to meet the person who helped save your life? Are you ready? Please bring Justin in. Man, thank you so much. Thank you. You have no idea what a hero you are. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, hello. This is a hero, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm a firefighter, but this guy's. I mean, <laughs> listen, there's not too many firefighters can do what this guy did. I don't know what to say about a guy like this. This, he's a, he's a wonderful person. Thank you. He's, he's somebody that I'd, I'll, I would give my life for. Yeah, I do grateful to be here to really see this entire process full circle um, from literally just doing a cheek swab to now being here with the patient who's fully survived and now back at work is just um, a grateful experience and I'm so grateful that I, I just took the step to do that and um, to see him here standing here is uh, very rewarding for me that um, I wouldn't trade this experience for the world. Do it again if I could. Love you buddy.